How do you view pages side by side in Canva? So there's a few things you need to understand. First, you can't really design side by side, but you could view your pages side by side. Now, it kind of depends on what you're creating a little bit. You can create a custom document or depending on whether you select something like a presentation or a printed piece, there are different view modes for these different pieces. Let's take a look at a custom design first. So if I go up to the upper right and create a design and come down here to, I should see custom design if I scroll down. Oh no, custom size right down here, little button. I click custom size and maybe I want it to be in inches and we're going to do 8.5 wide and 11 tall. So just kind of like a sheet of paper size. We're going to create a new design. And we have this one single page. I'm going to drop down the pages. So we have this one page. I'm going to go ahead and input a template into here so we have multiple pages. So I'm going to input this restaurant uh, business plan and apply all 15 pages. And so that's going to just apply this template to all the pages. So you can see I have multiple pages now of this business plan for a restaurant, for instance. Now, I can scroll down through these pages just like that. I can also come down here and show pages to see each of my individual pages, right? You probably already know all this. Well, I also have this grid mode down here in the lower right. And when I click on that, I can see all my pages looking like this, for instance. So if you want to see them side by side, what you could do in this mode is actually scale down your browser window or your Canva app window until you get to a two by two size of your document, right? And so, yes, it's a little bit smaller, the zoom level, we can't really adjust but we do see our document side by side. So if you wanted to just get a view of it side by side, you could do this and kind of scroll down through your document. Now I know that's not the best way to do it and it really depends on the size of the document. You can also zoom in and out on your browser if you wanna make these larger. So for instance, in this Chrome browser, I could click the three dots and I can go to zoom. This is probably command or control plus and minus depending on if you're on Windows or on Mac. But you can see how I can zoom in quite a bit and then I can scale my browser in until it drops down to two pages. And so now I actually have quite an interesting view here where I can see these pages a lot better next to each other, right? A lot bigger on my screen. So I would be able to see what they would look like next to each other. And that's kind of the important part in my opinion as you're designing. So of course we can go back to uh, just the basic 100% or I'm going to keep it at 125 just so things are a little bigger. Now I mentioned that it depends on the document. So for instance, if we go back home and I create a, let's see if we can find a photo book. So if we go to printed products here, I'm going to just uh, go to that category and find a, let's see, we'll scroll through here just a minute and we have a photo book here. So Canva classifies different project types differently and it gives you different features based on the project type. So if I create a new photo book, now this is, I believe this was a landscape eight and a half by 11. This photo book actually comes with a preview mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click this Merry Christmas photo book and we're going to apply all the pages. So now I have a ton of pages for this photo book. That's like a Christmas one, right? So I can actually view these side by side in a preview mode that works a lot better than that tricky pages grid view. You see up here, I have this preview button. Now this is particular to the photo book uh, page size. So you see I have an untitled design and it's classified as a photo book. Now there may be more design categories that include this preview mode, but once I click on preview, it actually shows like a book preview. And so we see the cover and then we click the next button and the inside of the cover is blank. So if you were to send this to a printer or print it through Canva, it would print the first page as a cover and then you would have page one right here. And then you click over and now you see your side by side pages. So this is called a spread when you have two pages next to each other. And so you can see what these look like side by side and what the, put, what the book would look like if you printed it. And so this is a good way to kind of preview what your book looks like uh, before you actually print it. And it's a way to kind of see, you know, when you export that PDF, what that front and back cover, et cetera, would look like. And so that is one way that you can, uh, or another way that you can view the side-by-side -side 
version of your document. Now, if you were to go to this grid view and do what we did before, which was basically zoom in, uh, that's command or control plus and minus in your browser. Not really working for me, so I'll just go to my little drops and or three three dots and then uh, zoom in a little bit to 300%. Now, if I do the same thing here, it's going to be different, right? Because this is supposed to be the cover. So the first page is this one. Actually, it's not different since the first page is that one. Uh, the first spread would be here. So this actually still works as long as I have a cover and a first page. Then I'm into the spreads. So I can still see those spreads just like this. The cool thing about grid mode is that you can move things around. And so if I were to zoom back out, like, and I don't like where these two spreads hit and I want maybe this one there, I can actually just click and drag the page over. So it's kind of a nice way to edit what's in your spreads. But all in all, I mean, it kind of depends on, the, like, this would be the best way to view side by side if you scale this down to see two by two. And then depending on your actual project, you might have a preview button that can show you a preview of the book. Or for instance, if we go to a folded card, so the folded card is an interesting one. The folded card actually shows us the fold line. So you'd be designing on the left and the right, but this would not be two different pages. This is one page just showing you where it would fold in the middle. That wouldn't come with your actual design, that line. So what you would be designing is basically two separate sides on a single page size, if that makes sense. But it does kind of show you that division there, uh, kind of sort of like it's side by side. You can see here I add a page. And this is not a spread. This is not two pages put together, but it would be a single page that you design the left and you design the right. And it would be like the cover page and then the back and then the two inside pages. And that would be sent to your printer or printed here through Canva. So those are some different ways to view your pages side by side uh, here in Canva. I know it's a little bit project dependent. For instance, uh, if you were to go to the presentation mode or presentation project, it's actually doesn't even include the side by side view. You can see how now this is a, since it's classified as a presentation, you get a present button instead of a preview button. So the best way to preview this side by side is probably to go ahead and do that grid view. Because even when you zoom out, these pages don't stack or um, kind of wrap or flow together. They just zoom out all on top of each other. So the grid view would be the only way to see them next to each other. And then adjusting the zoom level and adjusting the window size would get you to look at them side by side. But yeah, that's how you can view pages side by side here in Canva.